Welcome back to GGC Outdoors, everybody. Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit different style review. I know with the season rapidly approaching for just about everybody, um, everybody's trying to get the newest and greatest reviews out on the newest, greatest hunt stuff like saddle platforms, uh, the newest tree stands, sticks, uh, saddles, full nine yards. And I think um, that's great. Everybody's trying to make sure people have the videos out there to make an educated decision on what they want. But a lot of people, I don't think, are talking about stuff for self-filming, um, which I think is important for a lot of people that want to post to YouTube like us here at GGC and everybody else trying to start brand new into this game. You can go anywhere between thousands of dollars to using your cell phone. I mean, you can go minimalist or you can go full bore. And here over at GGC, we're all using our cell phones. And I think if you're going to go minimalist, at least spend... A little bit of money on being able to hear you like wireless mics you can even go uh, lightning port style mics we have um, Apple products um, Rode everybody makes pretty decent mics but today I'm gonna be doing a review on something that I've never really thought about buying until uh, last week I was messing around on Amazon looking at self film stuff and today we're gonna be messing around with the Lark C1 by Hollyland this is a wireless microphone specifically for iPhones and iPads. I don't think you're going to be using an iPad up in the tree unless you got a pretty big camera arm or that much money to spend. But we're going to check it out here. First unboxing. First look at it, I mean, by the weight, it looks like it's well made. So it looks like they give you a pretty nice hard shell case. And that's pretty nice, actually. Okay. So. Right off the bat, they give you a really nice, looks like a charging carrying case. It's metal, pretty, pretty heavy. Okay, so it looks like they got two mics and the uh, adapter that goes into your lighting port on the phone. Pull these out, looks like they're already full charged. It's pretty, pretty nice. It also looks like they give you um, some diffusers, audio diffusers or wind socks, depending on what you want to call them. They look pretty, pretty decently well made. Kind of like the hairstyle windsock, not the foam style. And looks like a charger and just some literature. Um, we're going to film the rest of this video using these, but it, uh, per the information in here, uh, looks like all you have to do is plug this into the lightning port and download the app. I believe it's the Hollyland app for it. That way you can do some adjustments. Um, Audio is at 48 hertz, 16 bit plug and play portable charging case it looks like you can film or record up to 8 to 12 hours on one of these so we will go ahead and pull these out and do the rest of the video with them all right guys we have the hollyland lark c1 plugged in i um, not sure if it's working but hopefully you guys are picking up the audio i'm going to go ahead and walk a little bit of distance off because it says it has like a hundred meter range i'm going to go ahead and try to figure out how far exactly we can walk and what the audio sounds like. So I'll walk away real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk backwards. I'm gonna go about, I don't know, 50 yards. That should be plenty enough. I don't see any kind of real world scenario to where you're filming this far away from your cell phone, but you never know. I think right around probably there. Um, we're gonna check the the quality of this audio now uh, we're going to use these going forward in all the review films so you guys are going to see this pop up um, i do think that this would work in a cell film scenario and uh we're going to use this this year for my hunting setup so we're going to check out and see how the audio sounds like all right guys this is going to be a real world hunt scenario we're going to try to see if this is going to work for this year hey ricky there's a spike or a button bug i don't know I'm eating tag soup. You on him? You on him? You on him? It's definitely a yearling. It's the last days of the season. I'm shooting him. Matt! I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Follow him. Get him, Rick. Get him. Get him, Rick. Get him. <laughs> He's down. That's what them new broadheads are doing, them 300 grain 
broadheads and a 1500 grain arrow. It's like shooting a spear through him. All right, we're gonna check to see what he is. First of all, I wanna make sure he's dead. Yep, all right. I'm not sure if he's a button buck or a doe. We're gonna check here. <laughs> hey guys, this is just kind of for fun. We like to joke around a lot over here at GGC Outdoors. But I do think these will work in a real hunting scenario. Um, I think it gets pretty good audio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, I told him it was that new 1500 grain arrow setup. Oh, <laughs> Everybody's yeah. using, went right through him. But uh, like and subscribe to the channel. We're getting really close to everybody's hunting season. I want everybody to stay safe, first and foremost. I think safety becomes comes before any kill, but like and subscribe to the channel, and uh, we have some good hunting content coming this year, guys. Thanks for watching.